Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Greedfall Let's Play. This is part six, seven? Ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. If you're unfamiliar with what happened the last time, well, you can only check, take a look at Constantine. He is uh, dying from the Malachor, unfortunately. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you. Uh Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe I me. Don't doubt now it. I understand what your mother went through, but you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave I'm going you because I'm gonna goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. You a cure. Oh, now I remember. I got stuck the last time doing the main quest because the monster is practically impossible at my current level. So, what is... Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's where I got stuck the last time. I ain't gonna get any further. Yet. Yes, Vasco's quest. Uh, it's high time we do that. So, uh, wait a minute. Compose my team. No, I want to compose my team. E. Uh, Petrus, remove and. Why can I not add him to the team? Okay. That's. Don't mind us, just passing through. Nothing important to see here, I promise. Oh god damn it, Petrus. Well, that ain't good. Okay, lads. Let's do this again. No, I didn't tell you to. Doesn't matter. lovely weather today not in Norway at least it's been raining for a week straight basically ah yeah now I remember this was the place where I got stuck the last time fighting another boss because it's a tank basically This ugly bastard. It's gonna die. I know it's running out. Should have faced him after buying ammunition. 
can time his attacks, you can dodge them correctly. Okay, now he begins the... I hate it when he does that. It doesn't seem to stop unless he hits me. Petrus is not half felt under that effect. I don't know if this is gonna help. That's annoying. Go get out of that fucking I know I do, because the boss won't get up. We're getting close. And that's, that's the trick. Level 20. Okay, hello. He is dead. That's very good. Oriflame. Vasco's ship. Journal of the captain of Oriflame. Now we get the rest of the crew entrusted this on board. After giving them the potions provided by the alchemists, the largest one is terrifying. Even when it's asleep, ask for it to be chained and kept in a cage. Tonight was at sail. Uh, what is my crossing? Blah, 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 blah. All the clues seem to corroborate the captain's journal. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. Yeah, the guardian see. who was locked up on the boat freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. And Vasco isn't here. It's gotta be a bug. I tried to bring him along, but. Report back to the Admiral. Okay, you got a quest for me, I see. Petrus, I'll get to you once we're done with the Admiral. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. Uh -huh. I am in a delicate situation and your help would be invaluable. 
I'm listening, Admiral. Um, okay. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. For it is almost guard? certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, oh. their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority <laughs> will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? Uh -huh. It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. Yeah, I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Oh. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with. Yeah, I'm uh, listening. Vasco isn't here either. <laughs> Small bug. Since I can't bring him along to the team. But in spirit, you could say he is here. In spirit. As you can see on the text. Alas. I was expecting it. It's kind of hilarious May bug the though. <laughs> be their shroud. We shall not Funny forget at them. Least. Did you find anything? Very Thank interesting, you, right? Vasco. It seems that the potions of the Alliance <laughs> failed us once more. And rest assured, we will never transport another one of those creatures. No, they are too not dangerous advice. for our ships. Our honor is safe, thanks to you. You have proven your loyalty, and you have regained my trust. What you have achieved for us all deserves to be a part of your history, Vasco. A request. <laughs> Speak, Captain. Seaborn, despite being taken away from us, even though they sent me on this assignment, so that I reflect on my own condition. I believe you were also hoping I would manage to make the legate. After providing invaluable respect of the notes, perhaps it's time to officially recognize us, my companion's birthright. If Desarde wills it so. I would be glad to add a member to our family. Um, you mean me becoming a Nord? Really? So then... It would be an honor, Admiral. Sure. Welcome amongst your own people, Desarde. Oh. I will send someone to tell the tattooist to receive you both. Oh. I just became get a tattoo. Huh. Okay, this might be <laughs> fun. I a nice thumbnail. We have come to receive our tattoos. The Admiral should have informed you. Indeed. Congratulations to you both. With whom shall I begin? Then take a seat, Captain. It shouldn't take long. Pink Brothers. It's an honor, Vasco. Uh, so it's... Damn, Vasco likes me a lot now. So, we got ourselves a... Oh, there is a tattoo. Captain Reuben? I, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? The Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba. A committed volunteer from Teleme. Uh, she only joined us a short time ago. Did you want to know anything else? Mm, yes, why are what you led suspicious? You to these 
What are the, the girl's behavior? She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then suddenly she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And okay. since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. I know quite a lot. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. Did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. Did you want to know anything else? No, not really. That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. For now. Let's interrogate the crew. Now we're gonna not ourselves. Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew, Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became hmm. distraught and She frightened. used you, it seems. It brought back memories. Or something Do you know where her. I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. No, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? Uh, no. I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. And do you, Laurel? La hey, Laurel? happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Well, even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off, then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought, a young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. No, I didn't. When we're at dark, there's nothing do. much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? Nope. I need to go. We Farewell. are done. Smooth sailing. Smooth drinking. In. Oh, one Flavia. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? Pleasure's all mine. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Where is well, she, by the way? I don't know very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, mean? ever since we got here, I found her a little distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. You want a bet? These committed volunteers. We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be nope. off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Yeah. None of this uh. helps us. They all told us pretty much the same thing. She changed her behavior when she arrived here. Perhaps this is a sign, or perhaps not. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Yeah, well, I was going to say that. Indeed, we should take a look here, but something or someone might have scared her. It doesn't mean she's a spy, but most likely she might be. I also think about the possibility of her being threatened, blackmailed, or scared for something. Unless she's actually innocent. That we'll just have to wait and see. 
I'm getting way ahead of myself with my own te theories. You are going too far. Wait. I will not let you say one more word. Let's see. You can shout all you want, but I'm right, you old drunk. Come on, on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Bandits. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough? Come on. You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. I can order you better get out of here leave. unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. On God, sir. Oh God. On God. Okay, sorry about the mess, bartender. Yeah, move along, boys. Nothing to see. Investigate the tavern. Uh, Your Excellency, it is an honor. Honor is all mine. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Yeah, I'm apparently not. I keep forgetting about that. Buy a bottle and offer to offer a drink. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. <coughs> Bottle of brandy. Uh, okay, we need that to. Hey, yeah. look yeah. at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? How may you help me? That's the right question. We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. You a do? girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> But I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Hmm. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents Curious. she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm yeah, often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. And Tell what me did what you, you saw? This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with a nought, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So. I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something. But no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. Hmm. They were messages. Boring. And from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe hmm. those were your secrets? Yeah. Where maybe. is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Well you want to do. know anything else? Mm, nope. That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. Gotta find the drop. Lovely dress. Okay, here, found this it. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... Hmm. Are you afraid to get your armor or boots dirty? 
Buttress. From here, we can see the box perfectly. Shall we wait here? Yes. Wait until nightfall. Someone is coming. Who? Oh, there they are. Why can't I? Okay, why can't I go down? He's just a messenger, but we should follow him. Oh. Gave the order. Hello there. Got a few questions to ask you. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us. I thought I was careful. Not I'm the legate of the merchant enough. congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? <clears throat> You're wasting your time. <clears throat> I, I, I won't say a word. Oh. Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait, I, I don't want to end up in jail. <clears throat> it, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. Your country. So I started exchanging messages as you've been. The alliance. The oh. Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen, but we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete, just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Uh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose, but I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. White Rose's now, message. if you'll allow me... Uh, I, I will leave the town. Okay, we gotta report back to the Admiral again. Let her know what we found. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Nords, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I yes. would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Telemi. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? Uh. This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. Damn, my not re Nord's reputation is really high now. Keep it this. Okay, uh, Petrus, I got some business to discuss Have with you. Have you considered my proposition? Yeah. Except very now. well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. And I 
ambush again. What are you guys all doing here? Bandits, going out, mercenaries, witch hunters. Troublemakers nonetheless. Is that? Thought I stopped patches with my magic. Crawler. This is a dead end, but what is this place? Hideout? Band? Yeah, it's gotta be. Go this way, lads. Yeah, this gotta be the right way. Yes. Should I have brought Seor? I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait. This is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau. The one we wanted to. By the enlightened. Look at this body. These people have killed an inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. Petrus, I doubt it. Calm down. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. And we didn't think that the Anol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Yeah, I should have brought Stop. Siora. This one is different. And we need their help. We were told that there was a man different from the other in Ixel, amongst the Lugayan Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But the governor. we don't really know who you are. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. I think he's the one who came to our village to interrogate our mal about our rituals. We can't trust him. Before speaking of trust, maybe you should tell me why you made me come here. Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Red Many of them fled, but we captured this man, and we made him talk. Oh. We wanted to know where they took our brothers, and he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. Convert them. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. 
This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us, like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous. But I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And oh. did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. Okay. We do not know how I know to I set, set out free, to do a different mission, but, but I got sidetracked. Do, don't they? <laughs> the letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words. I suppose so. You mm -hmm. must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This yeah. warrior isn't wrong. Even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminous continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Exactly. It is unbelievable Good. to Petrus, me that despite the making of sense. Demetrius, the Ordo Luminous is still acting in such a way. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Now how convenient we were actually going to San Matthias. Locked. Well, use the key. through the secrets of the living but the dead on the other hand I feel like I'm desecrating it what a congratulation I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project thanks to you and your devotion we're able to bring many savages towards the light damn it you will find some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operations in your chest at your headquarters. May the Enlightened protect you. Inquisitor Honorius or something. This letter mentions a secret camp. <coughs> Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the Order here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. All right then. Let's do that. Search. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Indeed. Oh, hi. Oh. Hey, you. Who are you? Order, and what are Order you Luminous. doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? To be truthful, my friend is only accompanying me. I am the one who was visiting this home. Precisely because I was hoping to find out where Father Claudius might be. I was sent by the Cardinal Mother, of course. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? Maybe the fall from grace of your superior, Father Demetius, has something to do with it. Who Maybe. can blame the Mother Cardinal Father for being distrustful? Is... The one that strangled well, a native in an I'll earlier leave you episode. Your investigations. In public. That's a good idea. I hope I don't see you again, Father. Yeah. This snake I gave up too quickly. I suspect that we'll soon meet our new friend again. We yeah, should make that's... use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Yes. There shouldn't be too many people left anyway after what happened. Let's hope that.
Harbor Street. Wait a minute. Am I go... Nope. Turn around, boys. I uh, missed an exit. Headquarters. All right. So we need to find a chest of which the key fits. Mm, I came from here, you idiot. How? Pleasant. No, it's just redecorating tools. This is a torture chamber. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay. looks bad to be honest I mean is this is a torture a torture chamber and a prison basically a concentration camp most sort of oh found it We hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp, Dan. We would also like you to be in charge of the con conversions of the most refractory native subjects. I recommend you follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us. The path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the secluded glade where we built the camp. It is imperative that our operations remain a secret for now. Median. The auto luminous. Thanks to these documents, no one. we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is. And the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope the warriors will find a discreet way to set their comrades free. Attacking a camp of the order could quickly turn into a slaughter for both sides. You're not wrong about that, Petrus. scared me a little bit so yes I, I did found, found some something. information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp and I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us betray you how so you're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. And that a missionary as eminent as you has helped Bastard. him, Petrus. I would never have thought it possible. The Ordo Luminous is prepared to start waging a merciless war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting them in a secret camp which is nothing but a torture room. That's what I said. And you dare to show such disdain towards me? I take it as a compliment. This camp is our only chance to ensure that the word of Saint Matthias is respected on this pagan island. You threw my brothers in jail cells, and now you would like to put an end to our work? You are nothing but servants of the insular demons, and you will pay for your blasphemies. 
No, we you will won't. fight these monsters by your side, Onol Minawi. Maybe in the end you protect me in this battle. Put a poison on my blade. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this great Things got out of hand quickly, to be honest. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. That's all of them. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. It would be best if nobody in Teleme caught wind of our involvement in this matter. Even though the actions of the Order are very questionable, we might be held responsible for these men's deaths. You're right, Father. It would be regrettable if this matter were to put our alliance in jeopardy. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. Huh. And we will make these That's bodies kind disappear. Of you. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for Thank our you. Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. She might also have a better opinion of us. Our last encounter was a bit tense. Yeah, to say the least. You first came in the name of the Moin Shakers. But she'll change her tone after what you've just done. In any case, do not Good. worry about this cat. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. I'll gladly. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Vertir to mad on all Minawi. And thanks again. Good. Even more reputation with the natives. Okay, guys. That's it for today's episode of Greedfall. I hope you all enjoyed it. By the way, I'm also streaming on Twitch uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and or Monday, Wednesday. So check that out if you're curious. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Tell me in the comments what you think about the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and I shall see you guys later. Good night.